Now let us discuss about water jug problem in artificial intelligence. We are given two jugs. One is a four liter water jug. Second one is a three liter water jug. We can use a pump in order to fill the corresponding jugs with water. Here our aim is how to get 2 liters of water in the 4 liter 4 liters of water jug. So there is no constraint on the second jug. So second jug may contain either 0 liters of water or 1 or 2 or 3. Why? Because maximum we can store 3 liters of water in the uh, second jug. Okay. So this is the goal state here. 2 comma n. Uh, here there are no measuring marks on the jugs. Suppose if there are any marks, then directly we can fill 2 liters of water in the 4 liter jug. So that is the problem here. So let us see how we can solve the problem. So initially uh, 4 liter water jug contains 0 liters of water. 3 liter water jug also contains 0 liters of water. So the initial state is 0 comma 0. So first we have to fill uh, 3 liters of water jug. So we need to completely fill 3 liters of water jug. Uh, so next, so now the constant, now the state is 0 comma 3. So next we have to pour. So pour means uh, we have to uh, remove the water from the, uh, the corresponding 3 liters water jug and place in the 4 liters water jug. So pour the water from the 3 liter water jug and place them in the 4 liter water jug. So these 3 liters will be placed in the uh, 4 liter jug. So 3, now it is empty, 3, 0. Next again, we have to completely fill the 4 liter water jug, 3 liter water jug. So if you fill the 3 liter water jug, then it will become 3. It will become 3 because previously it has 3 only. So next we have to place uh, 3 liter, uh, next we have to pour the water from the 3 liter jug into the 4 liter jug until the 4 liter jug is completely full. So what is the capacity of the 4 liter water jug? 4 liters. So we can place 1 liter in the 4 liter water jug. So after placing 1 liter it will become 2. Next we have to empty the 4 liter water jug. So it will become 0. Uh, it is 2 only. Uh, next we have to place uh, 2 liters of water from the 3 liter jug into the 4 liter water jug. So 2 0. So this is the final state here. 2 0. This is the final state here. Now we have to solve this problem. In order to solve this problem, we have to use uh, several production rules. Uh, so first let us write uh, those rules and after that we are going to solve this problem. Uh, here we can solve this problem with the help of uh, state space search. So, uh, state space search means uh, we have several states. Uh, here what is the current state? The initial state is 0, 0 whereas the final state is 2 comma n. Okay. Uh, so here the first rule is uh, if the state is x comma y if the current state is x comma y if x is less than 4 here what is the capacity of x x means 4 liter jug y means 3 liter jug so we can place 4 liters here if x is less than 4 then we can fill the 4 liter jug completely so now 4 liter jug contains 4 liters of water uh, next, uh, y liters means uh, it will become y only. There is no constraint on the y. Uh, next, second production rule. So, all these are called as production rules. So, by using these production rules, uh, we have to solve the corresponding problem. So, totally we have 12 production rules are there. So, let us see all the 12 production rules one by one. Uh, if the current state is xy as well as if y is less than 3. Here, what is y? The amount of water in the 3 liters jug. So if y is less than 3, then what we can do? We can fill the 3 liters of uh, uh, this jug completely. So we can fill the 3 liters jug completely. So y means 3. Uh, x means there is no constraint on the x. Okay, It will be uh, as like the previous only. So next one, if the current state is xy, as well as if x is greater than 0. x is greater than 0 means 4 liter water jug contains some water. Then what we can do is we can pour some water from the 3 liter jug. 
So that is D. So D means it, it is some quantity. It may be 100 ml or 1 liter or 3 liter. We can pour some water from the 4 liter jug. So likewise, fourth rule XY. If Y is greater than 0, that means 3 liters of jug contains some water. Then we can pour some water from the 3 liter jug. So Y minus D, X is as it is only. It is just like the previous value. Uh, so next rule xy if x is greater than 0 that means 4 liter jug contains some water then we can empty the 4 liter jug so if it, it will become empty that means x is 0 whereas y means uh, previous value only uh, next rule it is just like the fifth rule only if y is greater than 0 then what we can do we can pour the we can empty the 3 liter jug okay so y is x is previous value only so x comma 0 uh, so next rule x y if x plus y is greater than or equal to 4 and d is and y is greater than 0 uh, this situation will be like this let the 4 liter jug contains uh, uh, 2 liters of water uh, let, let it uh, 2 liters of uh, let it have uh, 2 liters of water uh, whereas 3 liter jug contain uh, 3 liters of water so now what we can do is uh, here what is x and y x value is 2 y value is 3 so 2 plus 3 is greater than 4 4 5 is greater than or equal to 4 then we can pour water from the 3 liters jug into the 4 liter jug until the 4 liter jug is completely full so that means here the final state next state is x is equal to 4 x is equal to 4 so here what is the capacity of the 4 liter jug 2 liters so then how many liters we can pour we can fill in the 4 liter jug 2 liters so we can write this as uh, we can write this as 4 minus so what is this capacity x so 4 minus x so here we are pouring 2 liters from the 3 liter jug into the 4 liter jug so after that it will become 4 whereas it will become 1 so how to get 1 here simply we have to perform the subtraction operation so here it is becoming 4 y minus 4 minus x 4 minus x means 4 minus 2 means 2 whereas what is y value 3 so 3 minus 2 is nothing but what 1 so now it will become 1 okay so pour the water from the 3 liter jug into the 4 liter jug until the 4 liter jug is completely full uh, so next rule it is similar to the previous one only uh, pour water from the uh, pour water from the 4 liter jug into the 3 liter jug until the 3 liter jug is completely full so 3 liter jug means its maximum capacity is 3 so here the conditions are x plus y is in place of 3 we have to write in place of 4 we have to write 3 and what is the next condition and y is greater than 0 whereas here the condition is x is greater than 0 then simply replace 4 by 3 why because 3 liter jug means 3 liter capacity uh, next replace y by x x minus 4 means uh, 3 liters jug capacity is 3 3 minus we have to subtract with y it is just like the previous one only x plus y is greater than or equal to 3 and x is greater than 0 so 3 comma x minus 3 minus 1 uh, let us see the next rule x y x y if x plus y is less than or equal to 4 and y is greater than 0 uh, here this rule is we have to we have to pour the water from the uh, this 3 liter jug into the 4 liter jug okay we have to completely take the water from the 2 liter jug and place in the 4 liter jug so after placing the entire water it will becomes empty it will becomes empty uh, whereas 4 liter jug capacity is x plus y uh, here we are placing the entire water from the 3 liter into the 4 liter so this jug capacity is 0 x plus y comma 0 x plus y means 2 plus 2 4 4 is less than or equal to 4 yes the condition is true here after the after we have executed this rule then 4 liter jug contain 4 liters of water whereas 3 liter jug doesn't contain any water so that's why the condition is less than or equal to 4 and y is greater than 0 if y is greater than 0 then only we can place the water from the 3 liter jug okay x plus y comma 0 okay uh, after placing this water into the uh, 4 liter jug it will become 0 uh, next 10th rule is similar to the previous one only 
if x plus y is less than or equal to 3 and y is greater than 0 means x is greater than 0. So, now what we have to do? We have to place the entire water from the 3 4 liter jug into the 3 liter jug. Okay? So, we can write this as 0 comma x plus y. So, after placing the water into the 3 liter jug, this will become empty. Okay? So, this is nothing but 10th rule 0 comma x plus y. Is it visible? Yeah, 0 comma x plus y. Uh, next, we have two more rules. Uh, let us discuss those rules. Uh, 11th rule is uh, uh, 11th rule is 0 comma 2. Uh, 12th rule is uh, 2 comma y. So, 0 comma 2 means what we can do? We can place 3 liters, 2 liters of water in 3 liter jug into the 4 liter jug. So, here uh, uh, the next state, the next state is 2 comma 0, 2 comma 0. And here 2 comma y means uh, here we can place the entire water in the 2 liter jug into the ground. So, we can empty this one. So, the next state is 0 comma y. So, we have to remember all these production rules in order to solve this problem. So, now let us solve the problem. Let us solve the problem now. So, x, y. So, which production rule we have to apply? So, we have 12 production rules. Uh, so, first the initial state is 0, 0. So, 4 liters jug capacity is 0, 3 liters jug capacity is 0. So, first what we have to do? We have to completely fill uh, the 3 liters jug. So, for that we have to apply second rule. If y is less than 3, what is y value? 0, 0 less than 3. Condition is true. So, what we have to do? Uh, we have to completely fill the uh, 3 liter jug, x comma 3. What is x value? Uh, here which rule we are applying? We are applying second rule. What is x value? Its previous value only, that is 0 only. Uh, next, what is y value? 3. So, now the value is 3. So, next what we have to do? We have to pour the water from the 3 liter jug into the 4 liter jug. So, which rule we have to apply? Let us observe 9th rule. Let us observe 9th rule. So, here what is 9th rule? If x plus y is less than or equal to 4. So, 0 plus 3 means 3. 3 is less than or equal to 4. Yes, condition is true. y is greater than 0. 3 is greater than 0. Condition is true. x plus y comma 0. What is x? 0. What is y? 3. 3 plus 0 means 3. So, x argument, first argument is 3. Various second argument is 0. So, again what we have to do? We have to completely fill the 3 liters jug. So, for that we need to apply the second rule. So, already we have seen the second rule y is less than 3, 0 is less than 3. Yes, condition is true. We have to completely fill the 3 liter jug. So, 3, what is x? x means its previous value only. What is its previous value? 3 only. So, next what we have to do? We have to pour water from the 4 liter jug, 3 liter jug into the 4 liter jug until the 4 liter jug is full. So, for that we have to apply 7th rule. For that we have to apply 7th rule. What is the 7th rule? x plus y is greater than or equal to 4. 3 plus 3 means 6. 6 is greater than or equal to 4. Yes, condition is true. y is greater than 0. Yes, condition is true. So, 4. x argument is 4. Whereas, what is y, uh, y argument? y. What is y here? 3. So, 3 minus uh, 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 yeah, this argument. y minus 4 minus x. So, what is y here? 3. 3 minus 4 minus 3 means 1. So, 3 minus 4 minus 3 means 1. So, 3 minus 1 means 2. So, here we have placed 1 liter of uh, this water into the 4 liter jug. So, 3 minus 1 means it will become uh, 2. Okay. Uh, so, next which rule we have to apply? We have to empty uh, this jug, this 4 liter jug. So, for that we have to apply 5th rule. 5th rule. What is the 5th rule? If x is greater than 0, x, yes, condition is true. 4 is greater than 0. So, empty the jug. So, 4 will become 0. Next, y means its previous value only. Its previous value only. So, next what we have to do? We have to apply the ninth rule. We have to apply the ninth rule. Why? Because we need to place this water into the this jug. So, what is the ninth rule? x plus y is less than or equal to 4. Yes, condition is true. y is greater than 0. Condition is true. G, x plus y comma 0. So, 0 plus 2 means 2. So, 2 comma 0. 2 comma 0. So, this is nothing but our solution. Uh, uh, 4 liters water jug contain 2 liters of water. Whereas, 3 liters jug contain 0 liters of water. So, here what are the possible values of x? x? x means 4 liters water jug. Its capacity is 4 liters. So, the possible values are 0, 1, 2, 3. Whereas, what are the possible values of y? y means 3 liters water jug. So, the possible values are 0, 0, 1, 2. So, here what, what are the values? 
टू जीरो इज नथिंग बट टू जीरो इज नथिंग बट हियर द सोल्यूशन सो इन दिस वे वी कैन सॉल्व द वाटर जेट प्रॉब्लम